assalamu alaikum ye wala introductory introductory lecture hai today uh, we are learning uh, new skills for um, uh, progressing towards professional level to jo kuch humne pad liya hai humne ab usko produce bhi karna hai to you will have to understand how to uh, develop those skills that would help us to progress in towards professional level so i will share this screen with you that um, we'll find out where we are right now today so for example if you can see the slide we will start from the introductory uh, level but uh, we will uh, develop towards um, professional level uh, very very quickly because with the next few uh, lectures i will uh, take you through uh, through the key points skills and then you will be able to uh, speed up a little bit more this lecture was slightly more late i was very busy so i'm going to produce um uh, the, these um, uh, extra slides for uh, helping you to understand much more better in details so an introduction lecture lecture uh, is being created to help you to how to identify mistakes when you um, read some written material and when you listen to the lectures and when you listen to other person that you'll have to produce critical uh, thinking and you have to exercise your critical ability in that sense so for example when you uh, listen to some of those lectures in a1 um, you will find some of these mistakes that um, the one you can see on this slide is one in red and in green green box with the tick uh, with the correct spellings and one in the red is wrong spellings so for example tong tong and indigenous uh, spelling in red are indigenous so indigenous is actual uh word a lot of people can't pronounce indigenous they pronounce indigenous so you'll have to understand uh and you have to understand how to how the sound can actually uh change the meanings of every single word so those errors sometimes um have been created in lessons or to help you to uh draw your attention so it's kind of a trick to teach so you have to understand and identify the mistakes through the written material and the verbal recordings so we learn linguistic tools uh through the higher skills and we progress towards professional level so you have to understand these two two green ticks avoid um, uh, you foundational uh, dreams for example when you go to the some of those different different uh, institutions educational institutions they try to keep you uh, on to the foundational level because uh, there are multiple reasons um, and you have to understand if you are old enough to understand and practice independently then you have to understand that you should not practice on foundational level you should not uh, study on primary level you should study on to the higher level and progress towards professional because once you have already taken all the knowledge into your head now it's the time to produce so you can't actually sit down and read all those books exist in the world so those few books that you have read cleared your purpose you know the reason now you're ready to produce your own work so you have to be able to uh use the knowledge that you have already taken into your head so this is why the purpose of this uh lecture is to help you to move forward and within next few lectures you will uh feel that your speed will go up so we can move together we start from higher and progress 
towards professional level. So you have to understand that um, you have to keep on practicing. If the other lecture is slightly late or delayed, then um, you'll have to understand that you have to, it's your responsibility to keep on practicing and not to forget what you have already learned. So we move forward to stage one. Um, a successful stage for higher level. So you have to understand these writing, reading, and listening. These three stages are combined with your uh, core level of understanding. So your core understanding in every single step that you use in your practice is that reading, writing, listening. So whatever you read, whatever you write, and whatever you are listening, your understanding has to be intact. So agar aap sun nahi rahe, iska matlab hai ki aap ne aapko wo reason jo uske andar aapki likhai mein jo reason hai, ya phir aapki reading mein jo uh, reading mein jo reason hai, wo aapko samajh nahi aa raha. Wo jo sun rahe hain, sunne ke mein jo reason hai. जो बात हो रही है जिस चीज को आप सुन रहे हैं उसका जो रीजन है वो आपको समझ नहीं आ रहा तो इसलिए जब आपको समझ नहीं आएगा तो आप सुन नहीं रहे उसका मतलब ये है सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू वांट टू यूज योर लिसनिंग टाइम एज मेक एंड मेक इट यूजफुल सो स्पीकिंग टीचिंग स्टोरी टेलिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल नो स्टोरी टेलिंग इफ वी लुक एट पीपल हु डिस्कस um and produce their own thoughts and and um give their own opinions that's totally different uh from storytelling and uh, when you start storytelling there is a structure there is a different um uh, way of creating a logic you'll have to create uh, is um, strings of every single sentence and paragraphs so strings of whole story strings of uh, uh, sentences strings of paragraphs will create knowledge and logic and that delivers a story so that's storytelling there'll be lots lots of work to do if you want to um, achieve the skills in storytelling so storytelling is totally different to uh, teaching and storytelling is different to speaking and talking or discussing or or giving an opinion uh, discussion and giving giving an opinion is a basic level storytelling and um, producing more detailed uh, written work is a little bit more higher and professional level so you'll have to get to you have to focus and keep in your mind that you are ready to work on a higher level and produce uh, professional uh work for your own self if you want to get successful so stage 2 you will um, see the one in red the other is green uh the red is in wrong spelling to and to has a lot of difference um so you have to understand how these different spellings can change your tone can change the sound of the of the word and um, if you can understand this example then you can use uh, and practice more effectively and you can use the similar similar you can apply similar knowledge on uh, um, other uh, work and other uh, discussions that when you start talking you will when you're listening when you're reading you will be able to understand the meanings through the sound and how um, change of spellings orders can change the meanings so move forward towards a successful stage um, of professionals to get to this level um, with a blue tick you will have to start from the bottom so bottom of the structure buniyad jo hoti hai buniyad से स्ट्रक्चर बनता है स्ट्रक्चर बुनियाद से शुरू होता है ऊपर से छत से स्ट्रक्चर शुरू नहीं होता बुनियाद से शुरू होता है स्ट्रक्चर सो एवरीथिंग हैज स्ट्रक्चर योर बुक हैज स्ट्रक्चर योर हाउस हैज स्ट्रक्चर योर 
you like had structure because when you were born, then you were young, then you were old, you have um, done a lot of things in your life. So that's your structure of your life, structure of discussion. Everything has structure. You'll have to understand and assume uh, and create concept of a structure. <laughs> okay, from the structure and understanding. So, from the structure and understanding, we move forward one step up towards pronunciation, contraction, and grammar. <clears throat> In reality, grammar is not a big deal. Uh, and you have never learned grammar when you were little. When you've learned your first language, you have never le learned grammar. So grammar, you don't need to learn grammar. So we will learn how to improve the grammar in next slide. So <clears throat> similarly, um, after this point, move up towards points making and logic, valuable resources and recognition, for example, credible material, credible uh, uh, professional or credible person. Uh, paraphrasing, uh, summarizing, that's similar to study skills. Uh, producing final, final writing. So this will help you to uh, get to the professional level. Right, move forward, how to enhance these skills. Um, both tools will be repeated after completing lectures of every level. So for example, the one, the level we have started learning is from the higher level. It's not a primary level and it's not foundational level. Primary and foundational is just like ABC. And uh, this uh, study skills and um, critical skills are totally different to the primary and uh, foundation on this higher level. So you have to understand and focus on a higher level and produce your professional work. What we need to do, so use this intro as an opportunity to practice lessons and get yourself ready for keeping your hands on higher and professional tools. So I will give you uh, professional tools during your higher uh, uh, higher skills higher skills learnings or higher skills practice when you practice your you learn your higher skill theories and then you practice the higher skills and you will be able to understand and develop not develop develop your professional tools so remember this next if you can see in green line red writings that's very important, key point I'm going to give you. So if you remember this, you will you will start speaking the way I am speaking and you probably will speak much more clearer than myself. So, so must practice tongue muscles. When you practice your tongue muscles, your tongue muscle memories keeps the memory of movement and it keeps the memory of the sound as well. So the, your tongue muscles help to produce correct sound. So you have to use your tongue muscles. You go to the gym and you lift the weight for your arms muscles, and your arms muscles uh, get more stronger. So similarly, your whole body muscles contain memory. So when you use when you speak one particular language for a very long time, or when you force your tongue muscles to practice particular words or letters, it will improve your pronunciation of those words of that particular language. So these six alphabetical letters are found are more uh, useful and a key letters that I have found that Lots, lots of people in the world, for example, uh, Middle Easterns, uh, Asians, and Europeans, Eastern Europeans, um, find much more difficult to pronounce these alphabetical letters. So I have created uh, an exercise 
that if you keep on repeating these six letters, for example, T, D, P, B, K, H. So you have to keep on repeating these six letters until your tongue and your mouth is tired. Once your tongue and mouth is tired, you find difficult to move your tongue. That's when you relax and you have to keep on repeating on a daily basis or maybe on a weekly basis. You have to keep uh, on this exercise uh, to make your uh, pronunciation correct. So pronunciation correction, tongue, ex tongue exercise, there is no any other remedy. There's no any other uh, medicines. There's no any other um, tricks. There's no any other technique. There is no any other skill. That's the only practice. If you practice these six letters on daily basis and you train your tongue muscles to pronounce these letters clearly, you will be able to speak much more clear than me. That's guaranteed. So here we are. Let's move to the next stage. How to develop grammar. So this is what I know all of you have been waiting to listen to that key point, how to develop your grammar. When you were born, you've never learned grammar. You learned your words directly. So remember these uh, green ticks and uh, the words in red. So words in red are slightly more uh, advanced um, advanced level of uh, warnings for you and for uh, main key points that you must focus during reading. So first reading a book by keeping your focus on points. So if you can see the word in red, that's very important action you must focus on. Points, focus on points which makes sense to your reasons. What, what is the reason that you have to read that particular book? You have to understand and you have to have some kind of reason if you are reading the book. So when you have reason, you will be able to understand the uh, logic behind it. You'll be able to understand what kind of points have been added into that book and do those points make sense or not? So you have to understand your own reason before you start reading the book. So every book has different uh, set, different reasons, a different set of points. <clears throat> so moving forward to uh, listening to the English language, if you want to listen to the BBC Radio 4, that is... Um, uh, that's academical radio station. They produce a lot of academical research in every field, every subject, and in every industry. Yeah. So you will be able to um, learn something new about the different subjects. So remember this BBC Radio 4. Listen to it some, some of the podcast uh, weekly or on a daily basis. That will give you an additional... Um, additional um, additional resource that you can develop your uh, pronunciation and understanding of those reasons in different fields. So your reasons will develop your grammar. So because every book contains different reasons. Yes. So your reasons will develop, develop grammar because every topic will have um, a different story. Every book you read will have different, different topics, will have different, different chapters. So every different chapter will contain different topic. So every different topic will have different story. So every story has different grammar. <laughs> so every point will change the way of explanation and every reason. Remember that every reason will have a different grammar. So studying a grammar is wasting a time because when you go and read a book, your book will show a totally different level of grammar. So what you have to do 
is focus on points, what sense, reason, stories, points, reason, sense, stories, logic. So these are the mixture of different, different points that you must focus on these that will help you to develop your grammar. Because when you have a different, different reasons, different, every reason is, is explained differently. Every reason contains different words. And every reason, every story have different words in different order. So one word you found first and the next reason, you find a similar words written in the, at the end of the sentence. So you have to understand this, that um, when you try to learn grammar, you will have to learn points, you will have to learn reasons. So this is this has to be clear. So it means do not waste time on grammar, just read books. So remember this, the one in green, just read books and find a solution which makes sense to your reasons. So you have to understand why I focus and emphasize on reasons because the reasons build points and give you a sense of logic and uh, it will develop your personal grammar and uh, improve your 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 uh, actual core skills of understanding so the core skills of understanding has to uh, be processed through understanding the reasons and the grammar okay so we move forward how to read books so we in the next few lessons i will um, I will teach you the, some of uh, those core tools, the important tools that will help you to how to read books and uh, how to read books through the quality, uh, how to calculate the qualities of those uh, text books that you, you are just reading, how to understand, recognize the qualities. So these tools, I will give you these special tools, special techniques to understand and recognize and detect the quality of those books and how the technique how to read those those books and how to listen so tools how what what are those techniques to listen to the listen to any lecture listen to the, somebody's speech listen to somebody's um, critical thinking um, and how to identify the qualities so can you remember that practice can make perfect as we have discussed about the tongue muscles practice so if you remember that, you have to um, use the similar uh, cycle and you have to practice this cycle. As you can see that I have uh, focused and emphasized reasons um, and I'm going to repeat the similar cycle that will help you to understand uh, the reason why I emphasize and focus on reason and situation more because of this cycle. If you can understand this cycle, the situation provides description and it continues from the second line, a reason provides action. So these all words goes uh, in circle, they go in a cycle. Um, if situation provides description, that provides action. Reasons provides action. The reasons also provides situations. Situation also build your reason to provide you certain description to, pro to produce action. So, excuse me, my phone is ringing. So we have been uh, learning some of these reasons and situations. So this is, you'll have to remember this cycle. Situation provide descriptions, whatever description you have, and that whole situation will build your reasons and your reasons provide you actions. And that 
help you to produce professional work. So this is how you would be able to represent yourself effectively. So you will learn all examples with the practice material in every lesson uh, when you move um, forward to the next stage. So, so the next is uh, how to avoid the jargons. If you already have some knowledge of the language, if you, your first language is English, if you wish to progress towards higher education and you will still need more tools to develop skills. So even if you are working in the professional field and you want to enhance some techniques, then um, you are on the right channel. Um, and I am sure that even if you um, have never been to college uh, and if you continue practicing through the advice that you've been provided in this, in this, in this lesson, um, I'm sure you will benefit much more higher level um, and you will achieve more um, useful skills uh, and more advanced skills than you could uh, get the same knowledge for anywhere else so the internet so the final advice i want to add in here is that internet is full of fast reading performance and uh, dialogue readers so there are plenty of plenty, uh, there are there are lots lots of dialogue uh, um applications that you can find um they play the dialogue applications on the screen and uh, the practice a lot of people practice how to read fast and they just waste your time. So anybody can train themselves for reading from the screen on the video. So there are lots of lots of videos. You will hear um, that people can read very fast. They are uh, probably very fast thinkers. In reality, the person who is a fast thinker, he can't talk that fast. So the brain has to be uh, in balance of your speech. So when you see somebody speaking and talking very, very fast, he definitely had uh, practiced and the person is just speaking and repeating the dialogues. That person is not speaking from his understandings. So do not let them waste your time. So you have to focus your uh, credibility, your reality, and your own personal skills, and uh, understand the reasons. So do not waste your time with the time wasters. Move forward. So I always say that action first. There is a reason behind why I always repeat that action first. So action first means whatever uh, something that that uh, represent your act, something that something that you do or you did or somebody else did or what actually happened, that word always comes first. So that means action first. So we learn after a few lessons. We learn within the next few lessons. We learn uh, purpose, reason, description, points and actions. So I need your patience and I need you to practice and learn to support my mission of improving your confidence. Um, it will enable you to express your thoughts, opinion and achieve objectives which will benefit everybody. So make sure to look for my arrows in the lectures and learn from them uh, because Arrows always help you to, uh, to draw your attention towards whatever you are studying or whatever you are intending to practice. So um, make sure that you always uh, use basic words, the basic words I'm using right now. Don't try to use uh, big words like, for example, desirable, intentional or so on so these words don't actually contain real meanings uh, because uh, some of those words are not actually from uh, your explanation so when you are explaining something use basic simple words 
that will uh, make more sense. Okay. So stay tuned, subscribe for new tutorials, lectures, uh, and benefit regularly. And uh, good luck to see you, everybody, in next lesson. So I will try to be quick uh, next lesson. I'm, sh I'm sure that everybody will be able to practice as best as possible and uh, will benefit from this lesson, inshallah. Thank you very much and have a good day.